guys what is up it is your boy will back with another video today and in this video i will be talking about two stocks that can rocket on a monday okay so i'll give you guys my buying levels support levels and resistance levels for both of these stocks okay now before you watch this video make sure you watch the video before this one okay because that the first video i posted today is purely for you guys okay it's all the stocks that you guys picked in the comment section so i'm gonna tell you guys to do it again in this video okay comment below the stocks you guys are looking at and the ones that have the best levels i'll make a video for you guys tomorrow like i said the whole point of the channel of me starting this was to help you guys the best way i can okay so just comment the um comment section below uh sorry it's a weekend so comment below the stocks you guys are looking at and then whichever ones have the best levels i'll post that for you tomorrow okay so make sure you guys smash that like button let's get the video over 80 likes i really appreciate it subscribe Turn your post notifications so you don't miss the updates. And you can always check uh, the community tab on my channel. It'll say community around 7 a.m. I post what times I'll be posting for the day. So you always know when I'm posting and you don't miss a video. Okay. So the first stock we'll be talking about today is Send Stock. Okay. Ticker symbol S E N S. Ticker symbol S E N S. A lot of questions about this one. So I decided to put it in today's video and I also see a key level as well. So some old levels. Buying level. $3.45 resistance level $4.10 both of these levels really hit perfectly okay so hopefully you guys got in that one I'm gonna show you guys where I actually messed up and it's something I actually deal with as well okay I've been trying to do better so this buying level that I give you guys right here $3.45 look at this day look at the low of this candle okay the low will come right there the low, $3.47, two cents off from where I wanted to buy. Now, this is something I mess up with. I try to get levels perfectly, okay? Like a little like perfectionist. I try to get them perfectly when I really should have bought. I should have bought right here, okay? This was pure buying pressure, gave me my entry. I teach you guys this also in the Stock Market Options Crash Course, so make sure you join that. There's a link in the description and pin in the comments. But this would have been my entry right here and then you can see the stock went up okay so that was a nice profit to my exit how much would that have been let's see about a 12 percent scalp okay because that's what i was looking for that's why these levels are here right so that's what i'm trying to get better on i'm trying not to be so perfect so i should enter there but this buying level in my eyes hit already so we're going to move that resistance level look at the high four dollars nine cents what was the resistance level i gave you guys four dollars ten cents what happened at that level resistance stock did not want to go above that okay so this is still a resistance level so we're going to leave that there okay I, I want you guys to pay attention to that because it did not hit so that's the first level we're actually going to leave on there let me go back to the 30 minute chart okay so that's the first level you want to watch out for and also around like four dollars and let me see if i can let me go to the hourly real quick. Four dollars, four dollars and like thirty cents is actually another resistance. So kind of have that on your chart as well. A couple of resistance levels above it, so price might have a little hard time kind of getting up there. It might like trickle up a little bit, but if it blows through these, I think that'll be very bullish. Okay, so four dollars thirty cents and four dollars ten cents are resistance levels. And then my buying level for send stock, ticker simple S E N S. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Let's get the video over 80 likes. I really appreciate it. It's around 380. So moving the buying level up. Okay, this is what I'm looking for to see that buying pressure. And if we get that confirmation of buying pressure, I will enter there for some shares. And then this is how I'll be doing it. Because this percentage right here will not be enough, right? It's only 7%. So I'm looking to buy at that $380 level, right? Look at the price to come up here. I'm looking for a little sell off. I will buy that sell off when it falls. That's why I say make sure you join the um, stock, uh, the buy and sell signals for when I buy and sell options and shares. It is for both. Link in the description and pin in the comments. Buy here, resistance. Look for that sell off. I'll buy again, and then let me go to the hourly. And and this one right here will be my main exit. Okay, so looking for about. 13% scalp. Okay. Because I do expect some selling pressure to come in this area. And once we see that selling pressure, I'm actually going to enter again to see prices make new highs. 
So kind of plan it two, three ways. But for right now, these are the main levels I'm looking at. Okay. So let's jump back down to 30 minutes. Make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Next stock, SOS Limited Stock. Okay, ticker symbol SOS. Again, ticker symbol SOS. So we have some old levels here. Resistance level around $3. Buying level around $2.70. Okay, let me zoom in. What happened? Resistance pre-market didn't even want to get up there during normal hours. So that is bearish. That's why I didn't buy any. Fell. What happened when it came down to the buy level? Acted as a support, turned to resistance. Let me see if you can see that. Acted as support, broke it, turned to a resistance. That is bearish. Something I teach you guys on stock market options crash course. Bearish, fell. Okay. Look how this buying level is acting as a support slash resistance. Like I said, these levels are more than buying levels. Okay. Very, very key. So, Resistance level, support level, and show no buying. That's done. Now, with this resistance level, there's a resistance level close to the price. So we're going to move that one. I see some resistance around like 273 in that area. We'll just make it 275 because it's easier. So around 275, looking for some resistance to come in the market. Okay. That's the first level you want to watch. Now, for the buying level, I'm looking at around 263. In that area, that's why I'm looking at to actually start getting some shares. And you can see how the buying level and resistance level are fairly close. So I would not be selling here. Okay. My exit target is actually around like 320 up here. So looking for about a nice profit potential. If we see buying pressure here, okay, we'll need that buying pressure to confirm. Oh, hold on, wrong one. So if I see buying pressure there, this is what I'll be doing. Entering here. Wait for it to come up here, looking for some sell off. I'll buy that sell off. That's why I say make sure you join the buy and sell signal so you can know when I'm buying for options and shares. And you can also join the stock market options crash course. Buy that sell off. And that lets me look for exit around 320 by the 20% scout play. So that's the play that I'm looking for on SOS. Uh, these are all the main levels I'm looking for on SOS. And depends if it doesn't show buying pressure here and it falls. I see one more level that I like to buy below the market, but I'll give that to you. Uh, once I see uh, that it's not showing uh, buying pressure here. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you remember to comment below the site you guys are looking at so I can put it in Sunday's video. Okay, and let me know if you like the one that I made for you guys today. Because like I said, I'll probably start making those for you around two or three times a week. Like the video just for you guys. Okay, so make sure you smash that, smash that like button, subscribe, and always remember, not a recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.